Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 10 English Public Exam Question Paper Discussion 2022. Dear children, today we are going to discuss answers for public exam English. Class 10, okay? Alright, so you have the question paper and part 2. Already we have discussed till section 2, 33rd question. Now remaining from 34th we will do now, question is, what qualities have made women powerful? This question is taken from Empowered Women Navigating the World. Now, let's see the answer. So, this is a paragraph question. So, you should write lesson name, theme, characters, etc. Lesson, Empowered Women Navigating the World. Theme, factors responsible for all women Indian Navy crew to carry out their expedition. Characters, the crew members, okay? All right. Navika Sagar Parigrama was a project undertaken in consonance with the national policy to empower women to attain their full potential. The project is considered essential towards promoting ocean sailing activities in the Navy while depicting Government of India's trust for Nari Shakti, woman power. The voyage was aimed to showcase Make in India initiative by sailing on board indigenously built INSV Tarini. The special feature of this sailboat is that it encouraged use of environmental friendly, non conventional renewable energy resources such as the wind, collected and updated meteorological, ocean, and wave data on regular basis for accurate weather forecast by India Meteorological Department, IMD, and also collected data for monitoring marine pollution on high seas. These are the factors responsible for the all-women Indian Navy crew to carry out their expedition. Fine, children? Okay, moving on to 31st question. Man does change with time. What were the various changes that came about in Aditya? Man, nari time mara Right? Transformation. That is why we have to do introspection. We have to do serene things. Happier in the time, sometimes so gama marla. Okay? So, we have to do change. So, this is a paragraph question. So, you can write the name of the lesson, author, theme, character, etc. Prose, the attic. Author, Satyajit Ray. Theme, Man Does Change With Time. Characters, Aditya. Narrator, Nagin Uncle, Sanyal. Okay, Sasanka Sanyal. Fine children. Aditya and the narrator went to visit Aditya's village after 29 years. They went to Nagin Uncle's tea shop. They met Sasanka Sanyal there. On seeing them, Sanyal began to recite the poem Panraksha by Tagore. Aditya inquired Nagin about Sanyal. He could recognize that the man was Sanyal, who he had deceived a long time ago. So there was a sudden change in his expression. He felt his guilt. Once Aditya was jealous of Sanyal, when Sanyal got a medal for recitation of Tagore's poem, then Aditya took the medal from Sanyal to show his father and never returned it. When Sanyal demanded his medal, Aditya replied that he had missed it. Aditya remembered all these, but Sanyal got angry with Aditya. Aditya justified Sanyal's anger and grievance since he committed the mistake. Now, he wanted to prove that he was not the same as he had been earlier. He said to Sanyal, that man changes with time. Aditya too changed and realized his mistake. So he gave Sanyal the cost of the medal, 150 rupees. As Sanyal refused, Aditya handed over the silver medal to him and proved that he has changed with time. And the medal is to go to the return 150 rupees. Sanyal is saying, I don't want money. Money? So, if you want to give, give the medal. That's why medal is Okay? Fine, children. 32 question. 
technology is a boon to the disabled justify okay is tech bloomers lesson okay this is a paragraph question children so let us write lesson name theme and other things lesson name tech bloomers theme technology is a boon technology has been registering an unbelievable growth in the recent decades it has enabled the disabled to perform their day to day activities just like a normal person alisha is a disabled girl who suffers from cerebral palsy she has trouble with typing so she uses an advanced technology called dragon dictate a software which helps to transfer her speech into words on the screen alisha feels that technology has made her more independent david was born athroid cerebral palsy modern technology such as the liberator communication device activ controller aac and eco2 have enabled him not only to communicate freely but also to control his environment according to david technology is important since it enables him to communicate and to be independent stephen hawkins world's renowned physicist was successful only because of assistive technology thus technology can help people like alisha and david to make friends control their environment study and find jobs really technology is a boon to the disabled fine children moving on to section 2 answer any two of the following this is poem paragraph any two you can write okay 33 describe the journey of life as depicted in the poem by henry van dyke here you can write the name of the poem poet theme and all poem life written by henry van dyke theme live joyfully henry van dyke was an american author poet educator and clergyman the poem life is the poet's own reflection on his life and tells his point of view on the more important things in life the poet wants to lead a joyful life with forward face and unreluctant soul he wants neither to hurry to his goal nor move away from his goal he does not want to mourn the things that he had lost he does not hold back for the fear of future he wants to live his life with a whole and happy heart which cheerfully travels with him from the youth to old age therefore it does not matter to him whether the path goes up or down the hill or rough or smooth he will continue to seek what he wanted as a boy new friendship high adventure and a crown it means fame his heart will remain courageous and he will pursue his desires he hopes that every turn in his life journey will be the best he is optimistic fine children okay moving on to next question 34 what qualities have made women powerful so this is a poem paragraph no so you can write name of the poem poet etc poem i am every woman written by rakhi narayani shrik today's women is beauty innate she is a symbol of power and strength she puts her life at risk every woman is true in expressing her love and she is never fake she is very optimistic in her approach she finds a ray of hope and she continues to care for her near ones she is strong in her faith and beliefs she deals the adversities with persistence she is never a quitter she is ferocious like a lioness she has her own pride and self respect she tackles and deals the pranksters who mess with her fine children okay moving on to 35th question that is read the following stanza and answer the questions given below okay some lines are given and we have to write appreciation questions now we can pull and haul and push and lift and drive we can print and plow and weave and heat and light we can run and race and swim and fly and dive 
we can see in here and count and read and write okay these are the lines and the question is pick out the rhyming words from the given stanza sir so, rhyming words nu sollumbodhe our eyes should come to the last first line last word ena drive second line last word light a sambandham illa next one dive fourth line right so drive dive drive dive same same mark da okay next one light right light right so drive and dive same same light and right same same when okay that is called as rhyming word second question give the rhyme scheme of the given stanza appa first la vandu a potaka drive ku a light ku b dive again a right b a b a b okay that is a rhyme scheme third one identify the figure of speech employed in the first line of the poem stanza appo inga vandu the entire poem e full ku uyirilada porulukku uyir kuduthu pesrom so that is what is personification okay we can pull and haul and push and lift and drive idu sonnud yaare machine machine uyirilada porul ana avanga solranga ma engala ilukka mudiyum pull panna mudiyum push panna mudiyum actually the machines they are all non living thing so non living thing uyir kuduthu pesrnala that is personification and the fourth question is pick out the alliterating words in the second line second line ana we can print and plow when we when heat and light aba print p plow p adavad consonant sound the consonant letter oda sound vandudna thirumba thirumba varumbodu adu aadi eluth repetition that is called as alliteration word okay appo print and plow 36th question paraphrase okay paraphrase the following stanza a woman is beauty in it a symbol of power and strength she puts her life at stake she is real she is not fake the summer of life she is ready to see in spring so these are the lines now we have to paraphrase see for paraphrase we can write from where these lines are taken so these lines are taken from the poem i am every woman okay written by rakhi naryani shirk and then you can write all other things uh, today's women is beauty innate she is a symbol of power and strength she puts her life at stake every woman is true in expressing her love and she is never fake she is very optimistic in her approach she finds a ray of hope and she continues to care for her near ones she is strong in her faith and belief she deals adversities and with persistence she is never a quitter she is ferocious like a lioness and you can tell the um, rhyming word rhyme scheme also this lines they take um, stake and fake are the rhyming words like that you can write so that is called as paraphrase she is very optimistic in her approach thus the poet praises and glorifies the modern women the poem is relevant to our times when women are treated as inferior to men thus the poet praises and glorifies the modern women the poem is relevant to our modern times when women are treated as Moving inferior to men moving on to section 3 men answer any one of the following 37th question rearrange the following sentences in a coherent order so here there are some sentences he ordered ariel to torment the inmates of the ship prospero and miranda came to an island and lived in a cave he raised a violent storm in the sea to wreck the ship of his enemies using his powers prospero released the good spirits from large bodies of trees ariel was instructed to bring ferdinand the king of naples to escape ipo idu maati maati irukuda we have to arrange arrange pannaka first one is second one okay prospero and miranda came to an island and lived in a cave using his powers prospero released the good spirits from large bodies of trees next one he raised a violent storm in the sea to wreck the ship of his enemies he ordered ariel to torment the inmates of the ship next next one ariel was instructed to bring ferdinand the prince of naples to his cave 
Okay, children. Okay, next one. Thirty-eighth question. Read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. Arvind, finding that Zigzag was sulkily refusing to say a word, despite all their efforts at striking a conversation, dashed into the kitchen to return with a plate heaped hurriedly with the juicy fruits, slices, and some nuts. Bored eyes brightened momentarily as Zigzag picked up a walnut. But refusing to speak, he dropped one wrinkled eyelid in a solemn wink and flew clumsily to deposit the nut on the enormous chandelier handling from the ceiling, bit by bit. And in total silence, all the fruit on the plate was transferred to the chandelier and on the blades of the ceiling fan. Then perching comfortably on the curtain rod, Zigzag winked and sank his beak into a plum guava. Okay, these are the lines. The question is, did Zigzag converse with the inmates of the house? Zigzag are good pace ja? No. The zig no, Zigzag did not converse with the inmates of the house. Next one. What made Arvind rush into the kitchen? Eduk kitchen odranga? Arvind rushed into the kitchen because Zigzag refused to speak. Third one, what did Arvind bring for the bird? Bird ka genna kondu varanga? Arvind brought a plate heaped hurriedly with the juicy fruits, slices and some nuts. Next one, where did Zigzag transfer all the fruits and nuts? The fruits nuts la enge kondu vichudhu? Zigzag transferred all the fruits and nuts on the blades of the ceiling fan. Next one. Where did Zigzag perch comfortably? Zigzag perched comfortably on the curtain rod. Okay, children. Okay, moving on to section 4. Answer any 4 of the following. 39th question. This is advertisement writing. Colorful and beautiful toys. Eco-friendly, non-toxic, handy, buy one, get one, discount 10%, 4 Amman Coil Street, Salem. Prepare an attractive advertisement using the hints given above. So, in the hints, we have to write a beautiful advertisement. Advertisement, you draw a beautiful box, okay, rectangle. Then, above you can write offer, offer, offer. Then you can... Put inside all the materials like colorful and beautiful toys in one box. Eco-friendly, another box. Non-toxic, another box. Handy, another one. Buy one, get one, another one. Discount 10% ten, discount ten age. Okay. And in the last, in the bottom, you can write the address. For Amen Coil Street, Salem. Okay, children? Alright. Next one. Question number 40. Write a letter to a newspaper highlighting the unhygienic condition of your area. Okay, now this is letter writing. We have to write a letter. We will write the letter in the next episode. Okay, children. Don't miss to watch other lesson explanation, book back exercise, guided reading and other thing. Thank you.